Well, Lazarus and Rebecca are helping me, uh, helping us to put some brush on the fire and clean this up. Uh, this will be about where the front porch of the church will be. And, uh, we had a lot of willing workers to help clean the brush. This is called the devil's walking stick. If the devil had a walking stick, it would definitely have thorns like this. Oh, let me see um, here. And uh, it does have some red berries that are look very similar to elderberry. Oh. So sometimes this gets confused with elderberry. Elderberry is a delicious and very nutritious. Uh, berry to eat, but you don't want to eat these that are poisonous. Wow. Yeah. So, it will go to the fire where it belongs. Right over here. We should go and find the other, uh, there's a, like a little balance beam over there. Balance beam? Yes. You'll love this little balance beam. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Okay. Let's just put it on the stomach. <laughs> Jeremiah, are you thinking about taking a turn? Uh huh. <laughs> you want to jump on her, Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. Let's put your tractors down while you jump on her. <laughs> God gave you good balance. That's the touch. That's the touch. Beautiful. Good afternoon. We are going to have a short class identifying a few wild edibles that are available here in this time of year. And we've got Lazarus and Rebecca with us. And let's see what we can find. Do you all see anything that looks like miniature potatoes that is close by? Mm -hmm. Right here. Yeah. Oh, they all fell off. There you go. Yes. Uh, some people call this wild yam. 
It has a very glossy heart-shaped leaf. Hmm. And some people call these air potatoes. They taste just like a, like if you eat them raw. It tastes just like a raw potato. Um, this is a very good food source. See how many are on there? It's just loaded. Mm. Just lots and lots and lots and lots of them. Uh, they're just yeah. very abundant. So you can cook these just like a potato. You can cook them or bake them just like a potato. Yeah. Um, very nutritious. Very good. So this is the food. inside of it. Is this the same like wild yam that they use for hormone balancing? Yes. I, yes. Interesting. Um, then they have a good taste. You can eat them raw, uh, or you can bake them. There, if you can find the main tap root of them, they have a, a root that's like a sweet potato. Um, and uh, some of them, like that one's. So they vine nice on sweet. other things. Yes, they're a common vine. Yeah. And when the, I've eaten the leaves when they're younger and tender right now the leaves are kind of a little bit on the tough tough side but um and then there's so much to eat in just a small little area uh, here is a violet leaf violet leaves are really delicious to eat they look similar to the wild ant too here let me let me get this one see this one has some newer growth that one that i gave you is it would be a little bit tough you can eat it, but um, these leaves here are a little what bit. What about that berry there? Yeah, that's just a. Can you eat it? Yeah, you can. That that's just a um, like a flower kind of blossom. So mm. lots it of. Doesn't taste like anything. The uh, violet greens they come out in the uh, springtime, and then you pretty much all year, all summer long, and into the fall you can eat them. Yeah, I like those as a salad. Yeah. They have a mild taste. Mm -hmm. These could also be on a salad. Yeah, you could put them in a salad. This one is plantain. And you can see the... Uh, plantain. has like these ribs on the bottom of the leaf. On the top, it's pretty smooth. And uh, if you have a bee sting or a spider bite, uh, you can smash them up. Um, or chew it up and then put it on. It's like a poultice. And that'll help. You can eat um, it? Yes. The, the newer growth is always going to be a little more tender, a little more tasty. You know, I just look for the fresher, newer growth. I've used plantain to make a salve too. Yes. So much good little things to eat in a small area. Uh, this one is a very abundant Lady Stone plant. Or smart lady. Yes, you're right, Lazarus. You have a good memory that Jesus gave you. Yes, this is, some people call it Lady Thumb. Some, some people call it smart weed. Um, the leaves here are really good, kind of tender. Um, they have a very mild flavor. And it also has some anti-cancer properties. Interesting. Delicious. You can eat the flowers too. Yep. Those are like crunchy almost. Mm -hmm. They don't have the, the best flavor though. Can I see? A little better. Mm. But Jeremiah would like them. Here, Jeremiah, do you want to eat this? Do you want to eat it, Jeremiah? Yum. Is that good? <laughs> we have so much in this small area we've got. Oh, I know that one. Wild clover, right? Yes, this is clover. Uh, red clover. Um, can you eat the I'm flower? not sure why that you can. I'm not sure why they call it red clover because it's really pink, but... Um, I've picked the blossoms and like when I'm cooking beans, just at the very end when they're cooked, I just kind of simmer these in it and also the leaves. 
is really high in calcium and of course you can dry these out and make a tea. It helps to purify the blood. Um, clover is a... They're pretty good. The, the horses love clover. Like, I guess to them it's like peanut butter or something. Like they just, <laughs> it's high protein and they just really like it. They really like it. So when you used to make salads for potluck and stuff, what would you put in there? Because I remember eating those. I know you put like dandelion and violets. Yes, smart weed. <laughs> uh, sometimes a little bit of yellow dock, uh, wild onion. And then you would put olive oil or something mm -hmm. on it? Yeah, nutritional yeast. Like, yeah. Yep. Seasonal salads, wild, they change with the season or whatever is available. <laughs> <laughs> No, let's see what else we can find. Is this edible? That is the seed head to a plantain. Oh, okay. So, yes, it That's is That's what edible. I thought. It is edible. Because I always saw these and I saw the little plantain ball. There's red top. Yes. Yeah. This uh, grass is called red top. And you, uh, the seeds are really oily. Horses really like to eat it. It helps them to gain weight. Um, the uh, in the fall when they need to gain weight for winter. You, you can eat the seeds, although I'm not sure how much nutrition you get out of it. Um, but it has a good taste. Black walnut. Black walnut, yep. You take the husk off and then there it is. you dry them out. And then during the winter time, you crack them out like little squirrels. This is a very good source of vitamins and minerals and protein and essential amino acids for your brain. I think I remember you loaning me a machine. Yes. That you or your parents maybe had one. Yes. To take the skin off. Later, uh, we'll go back to the house and we'll uh, we'll get the nutcracker out and we'll crack some. But um, I have a corn sheller, and you can put them through the corn sheller. Yeah, that's and that'll, what it was. That'll take the hole off of it. But yeah. it will sta stain your hands for like a month. Yes. <laughs> At least when yeah. I did a bunch of them with that yeah. corn thing, my hands were like stayed for yeah, a month. it'll stain them. For paint, that would be good paint. What do you have there, Lazarus? That's sorrel. Sorrel. That's high in vitamin C. Has... Beautiful little heart-shaped leaves. These look like miniature okra. And they do. They're yeah. so beautiful. Beautiful little plants. They taste like and they have lemon. yellow flowers. Mm -hmm. And natural candy. Yes. <laughs> Jeremiah, did you try any? You want to try a little piece? I love sour things. I tried to get oh, did you get it? <laughs> Is it tasty? You can try it. Mm. It's so yummy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Be careful with the dog. Mm -hmm. mm, yummy. I like sorrel. It's nice and sour. Get your I'm vitamin C. Find more wild. Okay. Want more? He <laughs> <laughs> just dropped it. This is narrow leaf plantain. And you can see it, it has longer leaves that are more narrow. Hey, Jeremiah. Uh, we, we looked at the other plantain earlier and it was rounder leaves. This is longer and more narrow. This is called chicory. And it has a root that you can dig up and roast it. And it tastes like coffee. <laughs> My horses really like to eat this. They'll eat the flower and just the whole stalk and everything. A beautiful plant. Very deep rooted. Try to jump up and oh, grab the walnut. Oh, oh. there, yeah, good job. I didn't, I didn't keep it in my hand. Oh. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Go on a little bit and see what else we can find. These are 
wild raspberry king uh, in the like June they'll have black raspberries they have a beautiful purple stem and they have just a, a few thorns not a lot of thorns there's quite a Can few you show of these me one of the thorns? Oh, yeah. in the spring oh, this is Anne's lace you can just pick it up and eat it. Yes. And I put it in soup and it makes it a nice flavor. You cut these off and put the flour in it. it makes a good flavoring. Um, and you can also eat the tender growth of the leaves. Um, you can dig up the root. It's like a wild carrot. That's what I was gonna say is I thought that looks, the leaves look like a carrot yep. type. Yep. So if you see just that, the wild carrot, does that mean it's actually Queen Anne's lace? Well, sometimes you see it before it flowers. Now, there is something called poison hemlock mm -hmm. that has similar like leaves, but the poison hemlock will have a hollow stem and it, it'll grow a bigger stem and it'll hollow. Um, and this one will always be solid. Solid stem. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think you could dig these up and like make your own wild edible garden if you wanted to? You could. Uh, especially like the Queen's Lace. Yeah. Oh, and that's two down. Oh, I knocked it. Jump, Jeremiah, jump. Woo! Woo! Oh, right. Wow, you got two. Oh. Got <laughs> uh. All right. Getting the black walnuts. Yeah. Okay, we'll go back to the house and we will uh, practice cracking open some black walnuts. That's a big Queen Anne's lace. So when you mow, do you ever feel like, oh, I'm wasting all this wonderful wild edible? Or you have so much that it's no big deal? Uh, there's just so much of an abundance of it. That, like, Your property really has a lot. Yes. Father in heaven has really blessed me a lot. Yeah. Like if I'm mowing violets here in the field, there's the woods are full of violets. Really, like in between the trees and everything. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots and lots of violets. And then, like this Chinese cinnamon vine or wild yam. Cinnamon vine? Well, some people call Two it. Two names. Some people call it Chinese cinnamon vine. Some people call it wild yam. There's just such an abundance of it along the fence road where I can't mow. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's some, uh, this is multiflora rose, the wild rose. That's a rose hip. They're high in vitamin C. I mm -hmm. You can eat them. They're a little bit. This one's a little bit bitter. There's some that are a little better flavored than others. Okay, so wild rose is the only one that gets the rose hip? Um, is that? um like, there are cultivated roses that get rose hips. But not all of them? Yeah, not all of them. Okay. There's some that have really big rose hips that are kind of sweet. But they can get. Yeah. Yep, you found a rose hip there. It's like trying to protect its berries. Uh -huh. Yeah, blending very well. This is fuel you were kind of dying down for the year. Sometimes it'll have an orange flower, and if you have poison ivy, you can 
crush the stems and leaves and put it as a poultice. Even now it's pretty juicy. Stems yeah, got a pretty a lot of juice when you crush it. It's got these bulbs throughout its stem. And you can uh, crush it up, put it on poison ivy, and it has a little soothing effect. Mm -hmm. Make dual weeds have too. Mm, here's a very common one. Here's dandelion. There's some nice new growth. Mmm. Danny Lion's good for you. Oh, there's a rattle for Jeremiah. <laughs> a natural rattle. Oh, you shake it? You shake it. You shake it. Oh, oh, there it is. All right. Okay, let's go crack some black walnut. Lazarus, did you try the rose hip? Yeah, I did. What do you think it tasted like? Uh, not very good, to you be didn't honest. Like it. <laughs> very mm. bitter and tangy. No. no. A little bit cloudy. Yeah, it's dark cloud. When we're cracking the black walnuts, uh, it works best to put it, there's kind of a, a point on the black walnut on this side and on this side. Mm -hmm. And you can get more intact pieces if you put at each point the point up and the point down if you put it here with the points going out to the side it'll tend to shatter more and you won't get as many whole pieces we'll adjust it down a little bit you don't want to pr press it down so fast and hard that you just crack it completely um this one didn't mature fully they're still. Those look like you, raisins a little bit. Yeah, you can still eat them, but they're kind of dried up a little bit. Um, let's see if we can find a better one in here. Does anybody have a good description of a black walnut flavor? Not really. I don't know how to describe it either. It's it's unique. Yes, <laughs> it is. I do like it, but it is unique. Okay, there's a nice piece there. They look like the walnuts have to store in their whole piece, but it tastes a little different. Yeah, the first time I ever had black walnuts was when your mom made these like corn corn dodgers, that's mm -hmm. what they're called. It's kinda like a cornmeal pancake. With black walnuts. These are really good. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely a challenge to get them out, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. Yeah. They're very nutritious. You want one, Rebecca? Oh, Jeremiah's thinking he might want some. Jeremiah? Oh, okay. You want one? Here, hold out your you hand. Can be adventurous. He's going to drive the truck. A new species of food. Uh -huh. I crushed that one a little bit. You know That's fine. Ones? Okay. We could uh, practice getting this, cracking some out with a hammer. Um, we will. Uh, a little more difficult. Got candy. Okay, I hit that a little too hard. So you can see the nut in there. Uh, it's the same way with the hammer. It works better if you uh, hit it with the points. points. It's a little bit scary. Mm -hmm. It is. Might hit your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Wow, that's really good. Was it good, Rebecca? <laughs> Rebecca says it's an acquired taste. 
Mm. You want some more? <laughs> Jeremiah, yeah. what about you? What do you think? Oh, yeah, we should give some yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah. Did you yeah. like it? Oh, yeah. There you yum. go. There you there go. go. Mm. He likes that. Wow. He's like, where's it? You got any more of that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There we go. Jeremiah, you want some more? You want another piece? Okay. He likes that. There we go. Go take that piece. He says it's going to drive his tractor now. Precious little morsels. You should have one, Titus. Uh, I, I, I'll wait until it's time to eat. So do you like to just crack these as you eat them? Or do you like crack them and put them in a jar? Oh, I do some of both. I... Usually I just crack them as I eat it because it's kind of a time consuming thing, but there are like rainy, cold rainy days during the late fall and Can't winter time when, when this is a, a really nice activity to do inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah wants another piece. Oh, Jeremiah, are you ready? There you go. He put it in his tractor. I would eat that. So, oh. which do you think is yeah. easier, the hammer or the nutcracker? nutcracker. Oh, dear. Uh, in some ways, I think the hammer is. Mm -hmm. If your precision is yeah, good if you're enough. if you're good at holding it. Uh, but the nutcracker is pretty good too. Uh, there's a local store here called. Misty Mountain, and you can buy those nutcrackers for. I, think I bought mine for fifty dollars. They may have gone up. But, mm -hmm. uh, here, Jeremiah, do you want to eat that one? Picture. Sure. <laughs> oh, you're gonna put it in your trash. Here, there's a piece for you. Thank you. Okay. Open your mouth. <laughs> Want to go down his throat? <laughs> yeah, we don't to choke on it. Who knows what it says in Philippians four nineteen? Let's find out. Now let me find it here. It says, "My God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus." So, what is one of our needs? We need to eat. And God has provided an abundance of things to eat out in the wilderness. One day God's people will be persecuted, as what we read in Revelation. And we will not receive the mark of the beast, so we'll have to leave our homes and live in the wilderness. And so God has provided food for us. We can learn now. These are a few of the wild edibles. We can learn more as time goes on and be more prepared. We can... We can trust in the fact that God has promised he will provide for all our needs. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for all the wild foods that you've given us. And please help us to learn more and be more prepared for the hard times that are ahead. Thank you that no matter how bad things become, we can trust that you'll be with us and you'll teach us and you'll help us. We ask for you to be our teacher and prepare us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.